The table has certainly been set for a full course feast of great racing action, including the richest of appetizers, the Hamiltonian Oaks. $750,000 for the female counterpart to the Hamiltonian, but consider $1.5 million, 80 years of history and tradition that have made the Hamiltonian the race everyone wants to win. This is the day everyone turns out for. Now, though the history is a little shorter for the Hamiltonian Oaks, the purse a little bit smaller, it's no less prestigious. And this year we have what appears to be a standout in theory. And the race is just moments away so with that in mind let's take a look at the field and the current odds while simple task at the rail Jimmy Tactor's other filly he's got the favorite passionate glide but he says this is a lovely filly Eman T Tron Smith's hammer loaded in the Hamiltonian that is his Hambo Oaks Hope and Jimmy Tactor's favorite passionate glide look down her line undefeated in six starts this year she's the heavy favorite with more insight on the field for the Hamiltonian Oaks we bring in the other two members of today's broadcast team Jay Pridman and Ken Warkington guys Thanks very much, Gary. Well, Ken Warkington's going to call the Hamiltonian for us in just a little bit, but he gave out a Meagle Hall on this show at 27 to 1 three years ago, so we've got to get your expert opinion on the Hamiltonian Oaks. Passionate Glide, heavy favorite right now at 2 to 5. Is she all that? I don't think so. I think she really? might be a favorite uh, that we could bet against today. Uh, Jimmy Tactor, the trainer, has been concerned about her, uh, about a recent hamstring injury in training. Uh, she hasn't improved, and uh, they've been uh, basically just uh, massage therapy for her, turning her out. And right here, you can see her winning her elimination. She's leaning in a bit along the pylons. That's not a good sign. She hasn't been 100 percent. Driver Ron Pierce said she might only need to be 50 percent because she is a great filler. Well, the other filly who won the elimination last week was MNT, winning by four lengths at 23 to 1. I know when I see 23 to 1, I wonder, was that a fluke? Uh, it might have been. Uh, she tossed in what we call a clunker the week before, but she bounced back, and this filly shook loose and exploded home. Watch her here. Brian Sears has a lap full of trot as he uh, races to the wire. She pulled a 23 to 1 upset. She owns good speed, and she's peaking at the right time. Simple task was second in this race to MNT. Four for six this year. What do you think of her chances? Well, she's uh, lacking in experience, just six lengths lifetime spark starts but she hasn't missed the board and she owns some speed she's got a lot of talent and potential and she draws the inside lastly celebrity sweeties only three for 22 lifetime but was second to passionate glide in the elimination last she week. has she has some class jay she, uh, she made a quarter million as a two-year-old she's been knocking on the door recently and improving and last week she stormed home at 38 to 1 it's been the year of the cat cat manzi won the metal lands pace here earlier this season for a million dollars well the starter has called for the hamiltonian oaks field let's send it back to gary seibel for some final thoughts all right, Jay, uh, latest update on Passionate Glide. Spoke to Jimmy Tactor literally 10 minutes ago, warmed up Passionate Glide. He says that hamstring felt okay when he warmed her up. So that is it. She is the one to beat. And Tactor looking for another victory, and once again with driver Ron Pierce. Now with the call of the Hamiltonian Oaks, let's go up to Sam McKee. It's post time for the Hamiltonian Oaks, three-year-old trotting fillies. And they're off in Passionate Glide from Midpack, carefully handled off the wings there. Not a lot of pace, and M&T is going to the early lead. Simple task, maintaining position from the rail, and Workout Dow floats away. She's caught three deep on the opening turn. KD Girl on the inside is racing in fifth. Quick credit settled nicely, sixth on the inside, just in front of Mai Tai. Miss Wisconsin, eighth in the early stages. Tough spot for Celebrity Sweetie as Val McKay moves up to her inside. Simple task off stride. Simple task went on a break there, so it's M&T who's two lengths clear. The quarter was comfortable in 28 seconds flat, and Passionate Glide is moving up on the outside, right on her wheel now to challenge for the lead. Nice spot for KD Girl, tracking the battling pacemakers from third. Workout Dow is two and a half lengths further back and fourth. Then it's Quick Credit is riding the pylons in fifth. Miss Wisconsin first up on the outside as Passionate Glide now gets to the lead. Mai Tai is seventh at the rail. KD Girl just went off stride, so there's a two-horse breakaway up front, and Pierce and Passionate Glide on the point at the half in 56 and two. m and is right in behind in a good spot there, racing in second. Workout Dallas third. Quick Credit is now first over. She's about three lengths from the lead. Miss Wisconsin second over. She's fifth on the outside with three eights to go. Mai Tai is locked in sixth at the rail. Excess cover so far for Celebrity Sweetie, who's racing in seventh. Then Val McKay, KD Girl trying to get back into it. And Simple Task is far behind trailing the field. So it's Passionate Glide coming to three quarters. Quick Credit on the outside. m and is trapped in behind the leader. Three quarters and 127 flat, a 30 and 3 third quarter breather, and it's Passionate Glide at the top of the stretch who leads it. Quick credit is a length and a half from her on the outside. MT nowhere to go, trying to find a seam to come through. Passionate Glide in front, a 16th out and letting loose a notch. MT trying.
trying to get to her from two lengths away. Passionate Glide is almost there. m &T on the outside second. Passionate Glide, the dominant damsel among trotting fillies, takes the Oaks in 154 and three. Well, at the Hamiltonian press conference this past Tuesday, driver Ron Pierce was asked if Passionate Glide really needed to be 100% to win the Hamiltonian Oaks in light of her hamstring pull. And Pierce said she doesn't have to be any better than 50%. Well, she was better than that today, and she was dominant. The time wasn't all that special. She strutted a lot faster than that, but she didn't need to go any faster to get this job done. And in fact, uh, Ron Pierce, in winning his third Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian Oaks made a decision down the back stretch. He's the best. Come and try to beat me. And they could not through the stretch here. She's still very easy, very comfortable to the finish line. Really not an anxious moment. And a look at the winner, Passionate Glide, and her winning streak continues on. She is the top filly. We'll have the official results of the Hamiltonian Oaks. The ladies have had their chance to shine in the Hambo Oaks. There's a look at the winner and the deserving Hamiltonian Oaks blanket, Passionate Glide. She has won 12 of 18 lifetime starts, and she is Harness Racing's newest millionaire with the win.